PIR or passive infrared sensor is basically a motion detector. Um, when you power it up, it takes a second or so and basically scans ahead of it. Uh, there's a sensor in there that's looking out through this Fresnel lens. And it kind of takes a snapshot of the room, at least it's in its field of view. And if, um, if there's any movement within that uh, area after the snapshot has been taken, then, um, then the, uh, one of these pins lets the Arduino know that, uh, that there's been movement. So we're going to use this, this sensor to create a little alarm that sounds out when um, it detects movement. For this project, you'll need a passive infrared sensor, which can be purchased from a number of stores. I'm including some links for your reference. You also need a piezo buzzer and some jumpers, as well as the Arduino and breadboard and charging cable. Okay, so let's begin wiring up the PIR. All right, um, this one uh, I I added wires onto my own, but there's pins that come out, and you can plug those directly into your breadboard. But uh, for a previous project, I added some wires to this, so there you have it. Um, in this case, uh, I've coded them red, brown, and yellow. Yellow is data. They're marked right on the PCB. Um, uh, red's for power and brown's ground. So um, we're going to uh, plug data into pin 2 and then the red wire into 5 volt and the brown wire into ground. All right. Next, the buzzer. The buzzer can be plugged in um, either way. It it doesn't have like it's not polarized. So just plug it in, uh, and then grab a couple jumpers and plug the um, one lead into uh, pin ten and the other lead into ground. And that's it. Now all we have to do is program it. Okay, let's get the code to program the alarm. We're going to this uh, URL here, ladyada.net slash learn slash sensor slash PIR dot HTML. Um, that is the site of uh, Lady Ada who runs Adafruit, which is a really cool electronics store online. Uh, and she has lots of tutorials, including this one of all about the PIR. And if you look at it, there's all sorts of interesting details, which you can read at your leisure. In the meantime, we're going to go all the way to the bottom, and there is some example code. All it does is it uh, it turns on an LED when um, when something triggers the PIR. So that's not precisely what we want, but that's pretty close. So we're going to cut and paste that and go into Arduino and paste the code into the Arduino. So we have that example sketch. But we're going to make some changes to it because we don't have an LED. We have a speaker. So let's change speaker. Or let's, let's, turn, uh, let's change LED pin to speaker. And we're going to use pin 10. Uh, input pin 2 can remain the same. That's where we have our our, our, um, our PIR plugged into. This is the default state, low. Uh, that assumes no motion is detected. And this is just a, a placekeeper for keeping track of pin status. All right. And so we change LED pin here to speaker. Um, 
So now we have a area here where it says uh, digital right LED pin high, which turns on the LED. We do not want that anymore. We're going to change it to say tone, and then parentheses, 10, comma. That means pin 10. That's um, one of the values of the tone, the sound that the speaker is going to make. And then this is the other one. So change the, re the reference to the LED pin to this one. Um, and then for turning it off when there's no motion detected, we can change this one to say no tone 10. And that should do it. All we have to do now is upload the code and we will be able to uh, detect intrusion. Okay, we've uploaded the code and now it's making this lovely alarm. So just to test it, I press reset which starts the program off at the very beginning and there's the alarm. And of course you could do other things besides have an alarm when this is triggered. For instance, uh, maybe you want to turn on the light when um, when someone walks into a room. That's a classic example of a use of one of these PIRs. Most motion detectors that you find in a store will have something similar to uh, detect when someone walks through. So we're done. That's it for this lesson. Uh, and that's also the end of Series 2. In Series 3, we're going to basically just cover programming um, you're going to learn a few new concepts uh, and techniques as well as um, delving into individual sketches to learn how they work.